took on Grambling and Youngstown State. They really haven't looked back. Got it rolling early on. They played a couple of option teams in Youngstown State and Western Kentucky, but they lose at Nebraska 38 to 14 in a game that was really a little closer than the score may have indicated. In fact, the Nebraska fans gave them a standing ovation as they went off the field for their efforts on that day. Don't tell them we're ahead. Broadway Stadium in Lake Charles, Louisiana. They love their number one team in the nation. The McNeese State Cowboys as the Cowboys on senior day making their way out onto the field trying to put a capper on what they hope to be a 10-1 season and 6-0 run through the year. On the flip side, spent his first two seasons rebuilding this program, going 10-1 in each of those seasons, two and three ago, but don't look now, Nickel State football is back. They are 7-3, and three. getting it done on the field and in the classroom. You said it was a complete and total overhaul all the way around. No disrespect to any previous administrations, but he wanted it done his way, and they're starting to do it Nickel that State way now. Nickel State won the toss. They elected to take the football first. They will run it from the very start, a team that is 4-1 and one on the road. And this triple option, they know what to do with it. You see Josh Son, the junior from Jacqueline, Louisiana. At John Marino, and we are underway in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Walker from the goal line. Well, the 20 has a seam. One man to beat, and he doesn't out to the 46-yard line. Great field position to get things started for Lawan Walker. The Colonel will skip his first down at 10 from the 44. They wanted to get on. Flag down on the first play. It will cost the Nickel State Colonels five yards. Ah, immediately they drop a flag. That's surprising. You're tough to come in here and make mistakes early in this football game against the number one team in the country. Darrell Day's not happy about that. Option play. Face to Coletti. Travis Felder around the corner. Midfield in Calvary territory and run out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Ryan Garrison finally able to knock him out of bounds. Oh, great block that time by Rudy August on the outside to get things around the corner and did a good job in the Cowboys defense. Big play here for Nickel State running this option down the line. Scrimmage on their first field to out a lot of plays that they're able to stop that initial read from Sun. Sun to throw. He does. Complete. Anthony Baldwin, the big tight end, makes the catch and gets down to the 32-yard line. Picks up another first down. Keith Smith and Roderick Royal there to make the stop, but not before a gain of 13 yards. Now, the Colonels don't throw the ball a lot, Kevin, but when they do, they like to do it off a play-action pass. And Josh Sun, you see the play-action here, and going to throw back the tight ends coming across the line of the scrimmage. Take the aggressive defense and go back door. That's what they do with their tight end on this play. Kevin, last Different year against Colonels this McNeese carried deep. the football this year. That's what a very aggressive and hard-hitting defense like this McNeese State defense is. Kind of explain why they hate to go against an option from the reading standpoint. Well, what it is, it takes away your aggressiveness because you have to be key-oriented. You have to have assignment football. The defensive linemen have to read the fullback play inside. Sometimes they won't even block the two. He doesn't take it inside. Off inside. You're kind of a monkey in the middle position. Third down two. Paletti up the middle. Just as you say it, touchdown, Nickel State. Yard count, touchdown, that was a read that time by Josh Sun. They did not block the down lineman. That's McNutt and caught John Paul Jones inside. And Cole Coletti, who's finally healthy back in the backfield for the Colonels, gets the first score of the ball here. Untouched. Good look out here, right at you, walking right inside. The linemen are spread on the front. They go up on the linebacker, Cole Cluddy, untouched the end zone, Kevin. That's the midline option. You take it right inside. Good start. That's a great start for the current. A couple of mishaps early in the, on that drive. Two first down penalties. They started first and 20, Kevin, but that did not play action. Upset the Colonels have got a good drive working right here. Eight of three, second down and seven. Play action. A big king hit immediately. Boy, David Willis came through. Was he coming on a safety blitz or did he just read the run? He came right up the outside very well that time. Nobody even touched him, Kevin. Blitz off the weak side. He's going to take her. He's going to come off the backside. Nobody's going to count for him. He gets caught, comes inside the tight end there. Big play in the backfield. Big King did a nice job of holding on to the football. 
Great drop out of the gun. Pin driver throws it over the middle. Incomplete. Brick Broadhead, the intended receiver, broken up nicely by Henry Johnson, who got a hand in there, was able to knock it away. Just a freshman. Pretty good delivery that time by Pim Darvish. Get the ball inside to Broadhead. What you care about today is Nickel State leads it by a score of 7 3. Both teams scoring on their first possession. A one yard field goal by. Josh Son on first down. They hold on to it. Pitch it out. Again, trying to get the corner. Phillip Brock, and he gets a gain of nine yards. Finally run out of bounds by Brock. Take a look at how they block there. Now you're going to run the speed option. You're going to go ahead and take Hadley Prince, number nine. They're going to pitch off of him to the outside. Hadley Prince is strong. Safety is going to come down, and they're going to call that slot area. Kick. Son turns the corner. Pitched it out of bounds. Now that was one of those situations. David Plaisant lost his pitch relationship with the quarterback. But that Colonel's moving again. This drive started back at the 20 after a penalty. There it goes. Look at Son right up the middle, and Josh Son in a foot race. Caught at the 25-yard line. Hadley Prince finally caught up to him. Paul Jones, you see there, it's the read. He takes the fullback, and there goes your quarterback in the hole. Take the fullback. It's the monkey in the middle thing I was talking about. At that time, Josh Sun runs right off of his fullback. Watch this. Watch the hole open up there. Good read that time by Sun getting into the open area. And, and a big play here for the Colonels. Josh Sun's going right to the training table. Uh, hand the keys of the car to James Morales. That's the situation. Colonels are in right now. Morales thrown into the fire against one of the best defenses in the country. Downfield blocking Morales holds on to it. And gets inside the 20. You need to pitch that ball, but I tell you, the quarterback coming in and run his first play, he may not be wanting to pitch the ball. He's got David Place on the corner, on the corner. first down, but he had the corner. Watch the pitch relationship here. To, he's got there. He could have pitched it out to Place on, and it was a touchdown. Second down, five. Down to the 11 yard line. Morales carries to the 12 yard line. Morales, Morales down. read down the line option. Read there and watch number nine. Prince gets blocked and actually his legs are what causes the tackler. He gets Morales gets kicked as we take a look at Josh yeah. Son on the training table. And again up the middle. Touchdown, Morales. Well, three times they've run this play, Kevin. Three times they've run it exceptionally well. Big plays, two for touchdowns, and now this one here for the second touchdown of the day. Run to that midline option. You leave that defensive lineman unblocked. You bring your fullback in there, and if your down lineman takes him, you go right behind. And Morales getting a good score here for the Colonels. Didn't matter who's running the show. The show's running the defense right now as they are Nickel State finding a way to get it done. Well, they have been dominant on two drives. And just like that, we're just a little more than halfway through the first quarter of play. This great defense for the Cowboys. Looking like Swiss cheese early on because it's 14 to three, Colonel. Well, the offensive coordinator, Jeff Richards, has to be extremely pleased with the way that this has gone so far. Speaking with him before the game, had a little twinkle in his eye, like maybe he knew something that no one else did. And so far, his team has put together two six-play drives. This one goes 79 yards as James Morales goes in from 12 yards down to backup quarterback. Now to the 20-yard line goes Jermaine Martin. This is a very fired-up Colonel football team work. right now. Lance. King up the middle. The defense is there, though. Another third down coming Safety up. The third down in this team. Now these defensive linemen here for the Colonels up front. A roll a few people in there. You have 96 Bill Robin in there and Michael Peck and Bernal Taylor. These guys up front here to do a good job. Touched. Juan Walker, number two man in the conference in kickoff returns at 27 per. He's already had a 40 plus yarder today. Walker from the four. Room to run, needs a block. 
and again after the 43-yard line. Lawan who does a good job in special teams for the Colonels, and you see here Lawan Walker get the, getting the benefit. Walker, I mean, right here, David Playson just kind of cleans the corner here, and that's what happens on this play. Allows it to be a big return for the Colonels. Hey, they're knocking again, Kevin. Got good field position. They're 44 yards. Look at Josh Sun. He's up on his feet. And the last time we saw him, he was on the training table. This is Gail Vanoy, who's come in at quarterback. Gail Vanoy, a redshirt freshman from Kingsville, Texas. Taking his first snap. They roll. at the 40-yard line. Him out. Who won the battle, though? I'm not sure Roderick Royal won that battle. That quarterback lowered his shoulder around the corner. Hey, look, here's number 52. He's going to track him, go to the outside. And Bingo here, watch this. He fakes it, but he runs right through Rod Royal. Well, that's, that's what they said about Yale Vanoy in our meetings. He says, watch Vanoy. He'll run guys over. Still the way here in the second quarter. King, misdirection. A lot of white jerseys in the back. The Colonels get on that play. Drop what? Big, nothing doing. Hey, he kind of this is exactly how both teams are coming in this game. You see him get off the tackle. Oh. Going up top for Mike. Right here and take a look at see if there's any extracurricular activity. That's Chris Thompson, the junior cornerback, in coverage on him. He's a great athlete himself, and he's running, watching the football, and well, I don't know it. Boy, that looked like good coverage. That to looked me. like really good coverage to me. I'm not sure that there's a penalty on that one. There you go. That's a good call. Sean going back into football game number five, who was injured. Hey, this offense has done a good job here. Colt Coletti, you see on the offense, the midline option has worked well. They give it off to the fullback inside. Now they let Morales follow behind him. This play is executed very well, but McNeese has answered back Kevin on a couple of drives. You see Lawton there for the score. And then the Cowboys for Scott Pendarvis. There's Jacob Prim. And Prim. Corker in from right here in Lake Charles. He'll hand it to the big fullback, Andrew Roban. Andrew Roban. Uh, behind the side. Roban down out there on the field. And yeah, they'll play 10 offensive linemen as well. Roban. Corker hey, hey. throws this one. Complete. Hamilton, what a game this guy's had. Jeff Hamilton, his fourth catch of the afternoon. Big young tight end, gonna watch him come across the line of the back behind the limit line of scrimmage there and make a nice grab. The ball's thrown up high and makes a nice catch. Quarterback here, Corkman, throwing his first ball. He gets hit also, and how did he have that one completed? A lot of trickery in this offense right now, at least on this drive. Touchdown. Oh, the Cowboys offense takes over. They all see the line here pull and didn't win the corner. And Jacob Prim just run it downhill, barely touches. He goes into the end zone for the score. As you would expect from a couple of teams amongst the best in the country. Number 17, Mitchell State. Coming in here 7-3 and three against the number one team. Walker up the middle. Walker with one man to beat, and he's down at the 32-yard line. How about LaJuan Walker? Berlin Williams finally stops the touchdown. A 68-yard play to key in the, excuse me, the Cowboys' last drive, setting up on their own 30-yard line, excuse me, the Colonel's 30-yard line with that 30-yard drive, and now the kickoff is going to allow them, the Colonels, to get right back into this game. They're going to set up at the 32-yard line of the Cowboys. And great effort that time by Williams coming from the backside to stop him. Otherwise, it's an easy score here great job you see the wedge and things open up very nicely for him to run inside and he just puts a nice move on the kicker and he's not going to make the tackle to Williams and take Josh that's that's the the after a 40-yard run is no signal Felder on the misdirection Felder fighting away from would-be tacklers and fights down to the 24-yard line. And while that's going to go down in the books as a gain of three yards, it could very well have been a loss of two. A uh, Chili Fairchild finally, a Shield Fairchild, I should say, makes the tackle. But what a run by Felder. Felder's got that kind of a body structure where he's kind of short in height, but I tell you, strong in body. His lower body is strong. You can't, can't wrap up low. You have to get him high and hang on to him. That young man's got a good center of gravity. Son, and 
son to the 20 yard line as watch the first watch down. Him make the handoff, pull it, come around and go right at him behind him. And good execution at time. And that on the back side is just kicking out the defensive end. So it's a well designed play here offensively. They've been running watch very well. Watching him make the handoff, pull it, come around and go right at him behind him. And good execution at time. And that on the back side is just kicking out the defensive end, so it's a well-designed play here offensively. They've been running very well today. Coletti, the single setback. First down and 10. Son. Fake the pitch, it gets inside the 15-yard line to the 19. Gerald Zeno oh, made the tackle for the Cowboy defense. Watch him here, he's gonna fake the pitch and go inside and spin away from Hadley Prince. A Little bit outside leverage that time. Look, couldn't make him not have the football. You're gonna guess and possibly guess wrong. Huge play on what they want to be an answer drive. Third down and four. Son on the action, pitches it. Inside the five is Travis Felder down to the four yard line. Hadley Prince able to knock him down there. Nice block that time by Isaiah Mitchell, number 35 for the Colonels on the outside as Josh Son pitches the ball back to Felder. Watch it down the line option. He pulls it here, got the pitch, and watch the block coming out right there. Does a good job and allows him to get to the corner. Yeah. Yeah, wide receivers, they don't have to de-cleat anyone. They just have to get in the way long enough. Yeah, just get in the way enough so he can get around the corner, and that's exactly what happened there. And Felder slips a little bit, and he might be able to make a cut back and get more yardage. First down goal from the four. Colonel's trying to go back on top. A little bit of room. Son pitches to Felder. Cuts it back. Touchdown, Colonels. How about that? Number one team in the nation scores 14 unanswered points, and Nickel State comes back on the ensuing drive. A huge kickoff return, and they're able to take it in for six. Two special team plays set up drives for both McNeese on their last possession on the punt down to the 30-yard line, and here on the kickoff return, getting the cat, excuse me, the Colonel's offense going on the 32-yard line. Travis Felder oh, finishes with the score. Touchdown of the season. Well, watch number five here. He reads. He's got someone in his face. Travis Felder with the speed. He has a choice to go out to the outside. says, nope, shorter to the end zone here. Just cut it right up. Smart play, and it's a good job of getting into the end zone. And Daryl Day, hey, too confident. Don't, don't tell him we're ahead. We're, we're <laughs> going to keep this quiet. Made life a lot more livable right now for Daryl Day's ball club. That was his 32-yard drive. They've had a 56-yard drive in this ball game. Well, I'll tell you, Tommy Tate and his football team, here at McNeese State, they've, they've had a lot of success, Kevin. Since 1991, McNeese has been in the 1AA playoffs nine times. They Actually, they've won the five, yard five times. In Colonel territory, Luke Lawton, the fullback, right up the middle, and keep you honest, defense type of a play. State coming into this one seven and three. They're three and two in conference play. Four and one is Daryl Day's team on the on the road. And and this is not just a football coach. This is a talent. He's a renaissance man. He really is. You know, he plays five musical instruments: guitar, the sax, the fiddle, the piano, the harmonica. Gonna play a little music on the sideline here if need be. He's got his own little passions, but he really loves football, no doubt about that. He actually had some music published. Okay. Kevin. Yep, the songwriter. By wow, Josh look at Brock. And Brock out to the 49-yard line, folks. That was Last all Josh He's going to be wrapped up here on the outside. And watch his right hand. He pitches it back to Philip Brock, who's coming around the corner. And this is a big play here for the Colonels. Now they have they an knew his team was going to be battling today. He said he loves the way Daryl Day's teams play from the standpoint of how hard well, they Juan play. Walker doing a great job running the football back. Travis Felder getting into the act. He had three returns for 151 yards there. A lot of things going well in the uh, kick return game there for Nickel State. But both teams in this football game, just a, a two-point difference here. And McNeese going to get the football first here to start the second half. The Wad Walker with two 40-yard returns. McNeese, the number one special teams in the nation when it comes to running back kicks. But today it's been the Colonels, and that 
Is that Josh Sun? My goodness. Didn't know that. That's a big blow here for this offense. Not During the run. 10 of 13, 149. That's just very efficient. And Darvis from the gun, over the middle, throws complete, short of the first down. Boy, if B.J. Sam comes up, watch the price. as he go here. You can see him go forward and they can make a big hit here. See the ball come across and Lee Rogers lays the wood on him. A good job of hanging on to the football for the Cowboys and trying to get the first down. Rogers. He's actually going to bring up fourth and short, just short of the first down. So Lee Rogers making that tackle, stop from short, and the Cowboys now. And Darvis wants to throw. Ball tipped up in the air, caught. Oh, you can see here, watch it. the play. Is. Gonna throw the ball. Number 91 pulls it up. There you go and tips that ball. And it's still going to be a completion, though. Michael Young, I think, got the handle. Is it Michael right? Young? Nice. 91, Michael Young. Yep. Down and seven after all is said and done. And Darvis got away from one man in trouble. And he will go down. Back to the 39 yard line. Whoa, block. block. DeJuan Walker got to it. And Walker down at the 40-yard line. Yeah, Walker wide. picked it up in great field position, once again made possible by the special teams of Nickel State. You got a late flag, though, at the end of the play, Kevin. It's going to be offsides on the defense, and it's going to be negated. Harold Day's not happy about that. Call an offsides penalty here in this situation. Offside on the defense. Yards replay fourth. Wow, big play here. This is this is one turn change momentum in a football game. And well, I don't know what I don't know what Daryl Day said, but you know he's he runs at a high rate of speed. But well, he, let's take a look at the line of scrimmage. Maybe enough. he's seeing this guy up here inside the neutral zone, but he might have lined up. And Lavincio Brown's going to come right in here and block it right on the spot and does a good job of that. And then you talked about. Lawan Walker making the play, but all Nickel for not. Nickel State playoffs in 1986 and again in 1990. This offense has a chance to convert. Just run the football. Third down, four. Colonel with the ball. First down. There's a 34 yards going around him and following. Take a look here. You can see the hand pulled out, bring it right around the corner, and you have a your other back kick out the defensive play. Playoff design play. The Colonels obviously win this game today. They think they're going to have a chance to get into the playoff system. Paletti up the middle. Colt Paletti. Good gain inside. Oh, Count the territory. Here. Pop it up. Down and 10. Big King. Big King in the 45 yard quarter. A scoreless third quarter. Hamilton again. And Hamilton knocked down. Hammered down the 20 yard line. But not that quarter. Watch big this game. hit here on the outside. Torian Thomas going to come over the top and get a good shot on him. And down crunches him pretty good. Line. Lawton up the middle, spinning off one, but won't spin off another hole. Look at this contact up front there. Look at the pounding. Every guys are hitting hard. Bingo. You know, Lawton looks, rolls in there, thinks he's going to come around the corner and get something else, but left for the answers. 35-yard attempt. And he is good. A one-possession game. But the Cowboys lead it by 5, 26, 21. And they haven't gotten a sink they need to here in the second half. Of Vanoy across the 40. Out to McNee, excuse me, for Nichols. Their quarterback, Josh Sun. Josh Sun come out at the second half, and he's got a ice on his knee, and yelled Vanoy. He's getting a little upset here. Actually, they threw a little small football on the field right at Daryl Day, and he picked it. They're throwing him down on the sidelines here at the players. And, Daryl Day's not happy about it. He's actually walked over and talked, told the line judge, hey, they're throwing stuff from the stands at us. And Daryl Day's actually turned around and looked at the stands and found out what's down. going on. And then the, you got security personnel right there, and they're not doing a thing about it. And Darvis throws. Martin couldn't hold on. The ball was right there. Well, it sure was. Henry Johnson was as well. Johnson with some pretty good coverage. May have got a little lucky that time. Yeah, right, so third down and nine. Colonel defense trying to hold and get the ball back. And Darvis from the gun, throws in the flat, Big King. It'll be short of the first down, so you ask your defense to go out and stop him and get the football back, and that is exactly what's happened. Nickel, nickel, nickel. Nickel. The second half, only 27. They have answered the bell here in the second half. Made some adjustments. Option, Brock trying to get the edge. 
lowers his shoulder and crosses the 40-yard line as he ran well, Rod Gully over. They're not something that these defensive players like to have to defend. It's not easy to be out in space and handle a cut block and then get off and make a tackle. And Colonels, if they can get those blocks, they'll be marching again. Play of the game so far, third down two, under seven minutes to go. Nichols trailing by five. Up the middle, Morales spins. It's gonna it's gonna be just a matter Defense of where right the spot on, is. Head up on the center, so he's able to make a play. That's Roderick Royal. They're having move up inside on that play because they've been hurt time and time again running that midline option inside. First down and ten on the 44-yard line. See the time remaining in the ball game. Option again, Brock. Stiff arms one man and a nice game out across midfield. Just a numbers game. And when you win the numbers game, the guy who's there to make the tackle has to finish. Watching there again, missed the tackle, and Philip Brock runs around the corner and gets more yardage for the Nichols off. James Morales looks over the reeds. Morales again, cuts it up. And Morales has the first down near the 40-yard line. Take a look here at Rod Royal, the middle linebacker, coming across. You play off one block, there's a cut block. There's another block he has to play off of. Hey, it's not easy sledding there. And you got the third guy coming through. That's your quarterback with the football, Morales. And Morrell just hanging on, trying to make the play. Nichols driving late in the ball game, trailing by five. They haven't scored here in the second half. Again on the option, Morales. And he's short of the Morales is the fastest quarterback that they have. Josh Sun's pretty nifty, but watch the speed here as Morales goes through the hole and does a good job getting through and putting it in. But one thing is right there. there. Sure is. Third down and three. Coletti up the middle. Oh, down the down the tackle. You see Daryl Day down here on the sideline. <laughs> He's got both hands. It's a first down. Move, move it, move. Half yards to get to get to the end zone. They're going to need a score here, Kevin. They're going to need to put a touchdown on at least to get ahead. And certainly want to give yourself an opportunity for a field goal. Maybe get the ball back. But I think you're thinking touchdown all the way right here. 23-21 at halftime. 26-21 here with under four minutes to go in the ball game. Morales trying to turn the corner. And inside the 30. Oh, he plays down the line here. He's the option guy. And Colt Coletti. Oh, bingo. Yeah. Well, the Prince's, the Prince's credit. Coletti hit him. The Prince re reached up with the right hand. Was able to get enough to at least hold on. Second down, seven. Option of the new shot. Brock. Trying to get around the corner. What a great job by Brock. He Philip Brock showing him. he's got speed and win the corner here. And then also strong. Also, a couple of times now, he's going right through Roderick Gully. I mean, Gully here. It's a nice job of getting around the corner. Fourth down and two. 2.41 to go in the game. Got to get it inside the 21-yard line. Season may come down to this play. Morales is not going to get there. Daryl Zeno and Hadley Prince game tackle here on the corner. Got Morales before he could get the first down. Huge play defensively from the left way. side of your screen here. The pursuit of the Cowboys defensively. You got the quarterback there. There's Zeno and Hadley Prince. They meet right there at the corner and make a huge play. Now your defense has to either get you a three and a quick out or a turnover. Oh, Hadley Prince, what a play. Now we talked about a team coming out here in the second half and winning a football game defensively, and the Cowboys have really answered the bell, Kevin. Once again, David Willis there to stop the running back, Marcus Strahan, the first Spino game. Gale Day's team may be playing. I don't know what he's doing, but he's up to something. May be playing for his chance to go to the playoffs. If that's the case, what a job that would be. Now look, these are some of the potential battles. There they go, misdirection, Trahan, Trahan. Stay inbounds, which is what he wants for the Cowboys to win this football game. Oh, nine remaining. Trahan, Trahan up the middle, and so Colonel's going to get it back one more time. See what they do. A minute 50 to go, 77 yards away, trailing by five. 
Pressure coming, throwing in the flat, complete. Again, Van Oy to throw, hit as he throws, picked off. Picked off by Rod Gully. <laughs>